Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits. Today, joined by Rich of No Mices, drinking some super fresh West Coast IPA from the West Coast from Slice. Brett and I love Slice, especially when they do West Coast. And this is one of their, their anniversary beers that we got. And we got to give a shout out to Joaquin, who hooked us up with this, which is awesome. Thanks a ton, man. Uh, he said both of the uh, anniversary beers. The other one is a hazy double IPA. But this one is the one I was really stoked on because I love their West Coasts, their new school West Coast approach. So this is a triple IPA. Although that's not my favorite style, but we love hippie cabbage mm -hmm. like crazy. But this is a collab with Alvarado Street, and this is Grim Reefer. <laughs> it says, don't miss the reefer, fresh to death, and Death Coast IPA on the label here. It's a massive 10.3% West Coast Triple IPA, brewed with Nelson, Mosaic, Lupamax, Citra, Revaca, and CTC. That's a lot of dank hops mm -hmm. <laughs> in one beer. And an awesome combo, in my mind. Yep, so, I agree. Yeah, this looks so. Good. It's it looks like a pills. <clears throat> a ten point three percent pills. It's almost got a greenish yellow yeah. hue to it. Yeah, it's a beautiful color, nice carbonation. What I'm also really impressed with is the head retention on a beer this strong. Like, yeah, that is. Look at that. That's mm. crazy. Yeah, yeah, mighty strong pills here. Mm -hmm. You want to check out the aroma? Yeah, let's do it. Wow, oh, that wow, is super <laughs> duper dank. It is the dankest of dank tanks. Wow. Wow. Where? What? Yeah. So we have some friends who tried them. They said there was all candied citrus. There's candied citrus, but, but this there is, is super pithy. Su yeah, it's pithy and candied. It's pithy too, but it is so dank. Yeah. Like yeah, almost yeah. sweaty dank. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's lemon simple. limey locker room. Yeah. It's yes. so, yeah. And there's definitely gooseberry too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, yeah. you know, totally like mm. maybe candied gooseberry, but. And kiwi. Yeah. I don't smell booze. No. But there might be some in the taste. But <sighs> this yeah. is super bright and uplifting. Yeah, this is not only just like sweet candied fruits in my mind. No. At I least we're also like having this note. ice cold. Uh, we talked about yeah. honey. Like, uh, honey malt or something. Uh, yes, yeah, like springtime honey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. And I, I, I do sense some sweetness because it is a triple IPA. Yeah, yeah but, but, but it's not the first... Thing no. I'm thinking of at all. I'm thinking of Dank Hops as the first thing. Yeah. But I don't, I'm not as crazy stoked as I was over Hippie Cabbage because I think that was even crazier with the punchy fruit dankness. Yeah. Fruity Kush. This has got some of that, especially with say blueberry cushy vibes. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the Nelson character is dope too. Mm. You know, and I think Rewaka also plays in, plays in with these kind of bright nuances. Absolutely. Yeah. This smells really Let's good. Let's taste try it. it. Cheers. Thanks, Joaquin. Cheers. Mmm. She bitter. There is a touch of booze. I think so. Mm. There's bitterness and a touch of alcohol. Also, a, a hit of phenolics for some There's like a huge spiciness on the end. Yeah. A peppery it's like a peppery. Um, yeah, absolutely. It, I wouldn't say it's super bitter. No, but... It's I, more like dry and, and like peppery. Mm. Like, it's like a medium, medium minus, a medium minus bitterness. It's not as good as hippie cabbage mm. because hippie ca cabbage didn't have that touch of alcohol. But this is not just oily candied citrus. I'm getting loads of Nelson. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 it, it has gets lots, of, lots of dryness and dankness and yeah, it has some like like raw yeah, mm -hmm. slightly almost herbal character to it. Yeah, um, yeah. totally. Uh, but yeah, man, this is this is definitely West Coast beer. Um, it's it does have a little bit of an old school flair because of oily citrus flavor. That's what, what you associate mm. with old school. But I still think what's really prominent is really like cushy, dank vibes, and then like that kind of Nelson gooseberry. I get a, a lot of yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. There is a touch too much alcohol, and I will agree. Yeah, with that. yeah. It, it, it's it's not something that's super duper pleasant to drink a lot of. No, no. This is a impression beer. Yeah, really. It is. But it yeah. I would never I would take it for being too sweet. No, no, that's because this is not sweet at all. This is no. really dry and it's mm. pithy. Yeah. But I would have loved this as a double IPA more. I yeah. Think. Uh, just yeah, like eight percent, this would be fucking insanely good. Mm. Um, 
But you know, I think still this is a fantastic beer. Slice is still doing, you know, really, really damn tasty beer. This is still really damn tasty. This is just, the, the only thing is that touch of alcohol. But I think that's bound to happen when you have a beer like this that ferments out so dry. Yeah. And like, West Coast IPAs are drier, well attenuated beers. You know, they mm. finish very low in gravity. So you're getting that really dry, bitter taste and whatnot. You know, it screams West Coast. But mm. it also, it is, it is... New school, but it's not as new school as some of the, their other beers. No, but it has that, you know, it's super duper fruity. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's fruity it's old school and dry West Coast, don't at the same time. And it has, I, I see that it has some oily character, but I, I wouldn't say that it's just like super mm. duper oily only. I would rather drink this than a lot of <clears throat> easy triple IPAs. Yeah. Just saying, but maybe that's just because I've gravitated towards being really fond of this style again. And a lot of people can't appreciate it as much mm. yeah. but it's and super like the aroma is super poppy yeah, like yeah. The, the hop character of this beer is so like vibrant it's super intense yeah. it's only it's just the 12... balance that's a bit off with yeah. the alcohol it's only 12 days old it's like mm. also really crazy fresh but that being said i didn't love this as much as other slice releases and not as much as their hippie cabbage which is was just like mm. what the fuck that was yeah. crazy that was even more cushy thing than this yeah but also it had the balance yeah yeah that this lacks yeah um so i'm still gonna go like a 93 92 something like that i still mm. think it's really good really yeah. nice for a triple ipa which is something i usually don't want to drink but mm. i like this yeah i think so i at least with this kind of poor i could never drink this can mm -mm. by myself but it's not meant to i no, guess no. So unless you chug it like yo, <laughs> yeah, you'd be smashed. Brave man, brave man. But it, <clears throat> I think that it's surprisingly drinkable, all things considered. Though, like it's mm. not like the drinkability is quite high, although mm. it has a, tint, a hint of booze. Yeah. Um, Again, if it was eight percent, it would be perfect. Is that a hop leaf? There's a floaty in my glass that looks a, like a bit like yeah. hop particles. Or maybe it's something from my mouth. <laughs> it could also be. It's beautiful. Oh, look how crystal clear that is. There you go. That's how a West Coast IPA should look like. At least if you're doing it new school. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good. But uh, again, they've done a bit better. But mm. check out some Slice. So this guy's was Slice and Alvarado Streets. Grim Rafer West Coast Triple IPA. If you love West Coast IPAs, this is 100% worth a shot. If you're not into the West Coast, maybe not so much. Uh, but I still totally, you know, like, check out some Slice. Drink Slice. Drink West Coast. From now on, we're only going to read West Coast IPAs like Joe. Yeah. And chug them. No. Only chug them. Should we yeah. chug this? No. No, no, no. no absolutely <laughs> not. We're not going to do that. No. But yeah, if you guys had a chance to try this, let us know what you thought of it. Again, thanks to Joaquin for the beer. And we're going to say cheers. Yeah. And remember to comment, subscribe, and all that social media jazz. And see you guys in another beer review.